Hi guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to the stream. Hope you're all doing well this Friday, the 2nd of February. And uh, I know I said I wasn't going to do this till next week, but I am going to dive into, or start diving into Half-Life 2 today. Um, main reason for that is I actually remembered that I'm going to be not around on Wednesday, so I thought I'd take Friday as like an extra day to, to get started. Um, on the game so um, yeah hope you're all well welcome along to the stream and um, yeah let's jump back in to Half-Life 2 hopefully where we were left off at the end of um, the uh, main game and let's see what's happening to uh, Gordon and the gang if indeed we are with the gang that's uh, a good question of course Tell me, Dr. Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? I thought not. What the Vortigons doing? Gonna take Alex to safety? Hey, it's our friend G-Man. Turn on uh, subtitles. Uh, to dialogue only. Okay. Interesting. So are we somewhere else, or are we still on Earth, or what? I don't know. Sounds like dog. dog I think I found something. Uh, let's turn off Steam notifications as well. Great stuff. Oh my God, Gordon. So worried. <laughs> hey, the gravity gun. Give it to him, dog. Give him my gun. <laughs> there, Gordon. Dog's happy to see you. I can tell. It's not the um. Okay, is it the like beefed up one though that we had at the end of the last one? My dad. He must be worried sick about us. Oh. I really did not sort this out very well before I started. Try like around there. He was so sure I wouldn't find you here. The Citadel's really coming apart. I still don't know how we got out of there. The last thing I remember is rain falling, huge explosion, and then I heard vortigons. Next thing I knew, Dog was digging me out of the rubble. Oh, it, it's all so strange. Wish you Howard, it's my dad. We've been trying to reach him for hours. We only hear that we found you. Come on. Woo! Yeah, the reason I'm playing this, starting this today, Aaron, and I realised that I'm not going to be around on Wednesday, so I'm going to lose a day next week. So I thought I may as well just start it and um, kind of get this out of the way with, dad, I guess. Are you there? Interference. Hey, dog, give me a hand with 
Bang. Okay. A little to the right. There we go. Hold it there. We got it. Dad. Alex, where are you? Oh, God, tell me you're out of the city. Well, not quite yet. What? But listen, Dad, we found him. You found Gordon? I don't believe it. But listen, you two have to get out of the city. The Citadel could blow at any moment. There's no question that it will, I'm afraid. Our remote sensors indicate the process is accelerating toward a dark energy flare. Is Anyone it? left in the vicinity will be subjected to energetic events whose Isaac, effects are please. beyond my powers of speculation. The ravages to cellular material are... I'll let you just be quiet and let us, like, go. Dad? Huh? Oh, dear. Eli, I'm sorry, but surely there's no need for undue alarm. Alex is well out of harm's way by now. Well, actually, we're still at the Citadel. What? Oh dear, but there's really no time. The core is exceedingly close to collapse. Why, there's no way to get far enough without first... Well, nothing short of a direct intervention in the core could possibly... I did indeed, until I saw the thumbnail for the cover of Half-Life 2, Episode 1. Well, you do have the hazard suit. If we found a way into the Citadel, it's possible we could... Alex, no! But Dad... Izzy, talk some sense into her! I'm sorry, Eli, but I don't see any other way. It would help us evacuate more citizens. We can do this, Dad. Okay, Alex. So, uh, okay, okay, just promise me. Promise me that you won't take a single unnecessary risk. I promise. I love you. I love you too, baby. I'll be praying for you. Don't worry. I'll see you soon. Yeah. Let's see if we can find a way into the Citadel from somewhere along the rim. Hmm. Dog, a little help, please? Try that, Aaron. Thanks. I just feel like so... Like, unready for this for some reason. I don't know why. Everything's all a bit screwed. Okay, boy, pack up and meet us on the far side of this ridge. Hmm. Whoa, what a drop. After you, Gordon. Careful. Time for that old crappy tech. Go, on, Alex. What you waiting for? What you waiting for, girl? dog that's not too helpful the time for fetch man there has to be a way to get across but how what about dog dog where are you going was it something i said huh dog what are you i think dog needs a few bolts tightened Dog, really? 
That was a little close. What's gotten into you, huh? How exactly is this supposed to help us? We get in the car, he throws us across. You're not serious. Are you? <laughs> well, Gordon, unless you have a better suggestion, he is a robot. He's done the math. No, he's done the maths. I don't do math. Uh oh, he didn't do the maths. <laughs> I want you to get out of here as fast as you can. Go find Dad. We'll catch up. Don't worry. Famous last words. All right. I'll miss you too. Now, don't worry about me. I'll see you soon. Let's go for a little ride. Brace yourself. Okay, dog. Let's do it. Before I change my. Okay. Careful. Hold on. Whoa. Phew. Good throw, dog. Now go, boy. Go on. You'll be fine. Just. Uh oh. What now? Whoa. Why don't like video game characters ever learn? You never sit in something like that. I just like take your time, honestly. Phew. All right, let's get off before the next ride starts. I agree. See you later. Ooh, a little bit too close. Alright, we're going this way. My god, this place is really coming apart. Alright. Let's make our way back through the citadel. This is where we find out Valve got really lazy because they made an entire game oh out of um, well, made a brand new game out of all the levels and things we created in the first time around. Like one? See if you can find a roller mine, Gordon. I guess not. You be dead. What the hell are those things, man? Seriously. Oh, shite. Uh, whoopsie. <laughs> Didn't realize I was actually going to like break on me. Didn't realize I had to like make haste. Uh, okay, anyway. Does it kind of make sense? To a degree. Charge up suit. Oh wow, they're like supercharged again. They're like 200 of them. That's awesome. Okay, 
Okay, I got one. What's going on, DW? DW Deathwish. Got a different shade of red there on your name. Looks a little different than normal. Of course. Dad taught me how to reset the targeting system on these things. A little extra juice in the right spot, and it's on our side. I'll hold it out where I can work on it. There it is. Wow. <laughs> it's not stable, but it should last long enough to take out the stalkers. Let it go now. We'll do the rest. Off you go. Sweet. Go this way. Soldiers. Don't be too sure about that, Alex. That's all I'm gonna say. That sounds like a meme, Deathwish. No, your old codes. thinking you sure about that that was very random I agree A nice little tutorial for new players. I did read that the, you know you don't necessarily have to own the first game to play this one, so yeah, we made it. It says no, it says it's independent. It says it's independent, Errand. When I read and did my um, YouTube prep for the description and stuff. Alex, the hell is that?
Uh, hmm. So, what's it like? Which one of us is it latched onto then? More to the point. Oh dear. Portal gun. I guess we're going to uh, come against some uh, enemies in a moment then. Hence why it's just buffed our portal gun again. Uh, gravity gun again. Portal gun. We're not playing portal. Jeez. More than three more of them hep things going around. I don't think I can like bring one across. All right, we're going this way. Uh. Alright, maybe we're not going this way. Maybe we do need to find one of the head pellets. That might do. Let's go over here. And charge up the... Oh. please pretty please <laughs> pick them up by the ankle and whip them around like a ragdoll <laughs> Too much fun. Uh, I'm being shot from where? Let's go over here. Maybe that's where I'm being shot from. in a thing. Oh, does that mean I gotta, like, ping-pong this in? You're kidding. Is that what I gotta do? Hmm, maybe. Better way, better angle I can get here. Does it not go in there at all, or what? Jeez, that's. 
There we go. Got it. Nailed it first time. It works. 40% of the time, it works first time. Every time. I got time for you. <laughs> Oh dear God. Uh, I gotta run. That seems like the sense of Um, is Alex not following me or what? Jeez, come on. Keep up, girl. Keep up. It's got an differential. Sorry, I didn't, uh, I didn't say hi. Welcome along. Hope you're well. Of course. Of course that was going to happen. They look like oak lights. Looks like this could be a transport elevator to the core. Yeah, we must be on the red track. Uh, maybe I should have used that. Um look up. Watch out! There's got to be like a way to get that into there, I guess. Yeah, get it behind that console. There we go. There we go. I know it's class. Are you kidding me? First time, baby. What's going on? Look, the stalker. What's it doing? <laughs> Come on, knock. Oh, 
I seriously gotta like try and hit that stalker. There we go. No going back. That's for sure. Watch your head, Fred. Come on. Let me in. Let me in. Little pig, little pig. Let me come in. No, no, no. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. This big fat double chin. Direct intervention. Was that it? Look, right click. Look, right click. It looks pretty far gone. I hope Dr. Kleiner was right about this. Let's see if we can find a way through the control room. Well, I'll get electrocuted. Control room. Thing you know what you're doing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> the uh, so this is like where Gordon, I get in the elevator again. I wish there was something else I could do to help. Gives a kiss up. No. Okay. Hurry back. Let's do the one then. Oh, up there. Let's try that one. nice and safe now, doesn't it? Yes. Doesn't it just... Bring a hep thing in here. Uh, okay, it's a bit bright. Uh -huh. So 
like seriously, this technology is so old, not even apt to use as head pellets anymore. Uh, where to next? Uh, hey, go away. Where'd you come from? to do here? Oh, they don't actually hurt me. I take it back. The head pellets are great, they don't hurt you. into the middle. Oh my goodness. Because this looks nice and safe. Let's be honest. Let's blow it up some more. Holy crap. I guess I'll go get another one from out here, right? <laughs> uh, so yeah. Just. Whew. Question is where they're going to come from next. here, I guess. This gun is just... So OP. Why did they bring other weapons into Half-Life 2? Seriously. Hi, Alex. Maybe here. Maybe this is where I need to jump off. Maybe. Let's try this one. 
Yep, there's buddies. That gotta be right. Buddies are good, right? Buddies equals right direction. Is this where I came from? This looks almost the same, but it can't be because I took the... Oh, it's not. It's not. Don't worry. It's all good. Fast. Did I do it? Did I win? I gotta go down there, maybe. And this fog needs to die down, seriously. Let's go where now? Is there a ladder? I can't see a ladder. Oh, hello. There we go. Happy days. Oh, happy days. Do I go back now? Oh, I need one for that now, don't I? That's right. Did I win? Do I win? Hey, a winner is me. The containment system's back in place. It won't last forever, but at least we've bought a little time. While you were in there, I did some poking around in the control deck. They were trying to start a chain reaction, all right. But destroying the Citadel is just a side effect. Since we took out Brain's reactor, this is the only way they have to send a transmission packet back to wherever they came from. I can't tell what the packet contains, but it's important enough that they're willing to sacrifice the whole Citadel to send it off. We need to get it back to my dad and Dr. Kleiner at the outpost right away. I've been pulling down a Can you? Whatever it is, I have a feeling it's bad news for all of us. There's something else. It's Judith. Take a look. I'm fairly sure I've pinned down the location of the project. It's hard to say how much of it might have survived intact or whether there's anything remaining that could compromise our work if it were discovered by the Combine. We'll need to take a close look at it, of course, but I should be able to give a better opinion within a few hours. If the site is where we think it is, then it should be no more than... I'm going to cut this short. We may have been spotted. 
Could be dead by the looks of that. She's in serious trouble. We need to get this and the transmission packet to my dad. He'll know what to do with it. The packet's done copying. I've got it right here. Now let's get the hell out of here. Uh oh. I think they felt that. I've secured an exit elevator. It's this way. Come on. Tell him to run. The door's not even freaking open yet, Alex. Jeez. Come on. Something tells me they don't want to bring them there. This lift will take us to a train platform. If we can get your ride, it should take us straight out of the city. The train tracks on the walls. Hey, the gravity gun's back to normal. No. It was nice while it lasted. That sucks. Sucks. Back to normal. Nobody likes normal. You might want to move, Alex. Jeez. <laughs> this one, Alex, come. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's comical. Coast is clear. This is our train. Let's get in. Come on, let's get in. We got some first aid, dude. Cheer, sure, seriously. Don't talk too what's soon. In this copy we made, but they're not thrilled about us having it. You know, all things considered, we're not. Oh no, it's a soccer card. God damn the combine! This is what happens to you if you resist. Or if you're just in the wrong place at the wrong time. You don't remember who you were. All right. Let's see where this train is headed. With any luck, we should be well out of the city before it's too late. Thank God we're not on foot. Let's hope the worst is over. Cliche moment. It looks like you saved our lives again. That. Oh my god. Sounds like the train is being ripped apart. Oh, my God. 
You okay? Do you want to come through here? Is that what you're waiting for me to move? Maybe? I don't know. You're just going to stand there with your hands in your hands over your face. I, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Low life. Hold up a sec. I gotta catch my breath. Come on, on your feet, soldier. This might not be as easy as I thought. We're in the same boat as the other evacuees. On foot to a train station. Let's head for the surface. Sounds like they're empty though. That's how I gotta defend myself now. It's literally no weapons. Hey, shotgun. Shotgun shells. Pistol. Flare. Yeah, not much ammo though. Dude, your face. Shiny 
Nope. Light on that thing. Hey, it's all the sand sand lions, man. Ant lions here? Ant lions, that's it. a troop train what the hell is that hmm a combine zombie that's that's like a a, a zombine right <laughs> wow really alex zombine, really right? <laughs> uh, <okay. laughs> Good work. Where to now? I am not sure here in which direction I am meant to be going. Keep your light on. Well, you just come in here and we shut the door. That's a thing we could do. Um. Yeah, I'm not completely sure which way I'm meant to be going here. You're actually a decent NPC, Alex. It's a first. Oh, oh, there was another way back through here, wasn't there? Around the other end of the train. Like that thing up. It's like, um... Wasn't there through here? Maybe... I don't know. Anyway, not sure which way I'm going to be going. So it's probably a good place as any to call the day for the stream, guys. Thank you very much for watching, as always. Like, comment, subscribe. No, we're not on video. As always, links are on screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. We'll be back continuing episode one of Half-Life 2, um, other way around, um, on Monday. But until then, have a great weekend, guys. I've been Doc, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.